Hi everyone and welcome to I Am In Your Living Room with me, Tyler Nicole, Christina, and Susie. Today we are joined by Jenna Rose. Don't let her young age fool you. She may only be 15, but she is a viral pop star. She has appeared in 18 plays and made several television appearances. After the single, My Jeans, Jenna went on to release 10 more singles, including one of her most recent releases, Walk On By. Jenna has been recognized for her contribution to the performing arts since then. Amongst the many plays she's been casted in, Jenna took on the title role in the off-Broadway play, The Odella Williams Show. Let's not forget her stellar voice led her all the way to the finals in the competition, Got Talent. Recently, Jenna has taken her talent on the road, where she has performed at several spring festivals. Jenna, we are so happy to have you with us today. Thank you for having me. Totally. So, you just finished up performing at two spring festivals with Galilee Dance. How was that? Um, those were amazing. Um, one of them was in Atlantic City, which was amazing. I love just like the atmosphere there. And honestly, the crowd was also like really cool to perform in front of. And I made a lot of friends on that tour, which was also like really cool. That's awesome. So did you always want to be a performer, or is it just something that kind of happened? Well, it all started when I um, put on my jeans, which became viral out of nowhere, kind of. And like I didn't expect that at all. Like I've always wanted to sing. I used to do like more of acting. But um, then I like shifted over to singing more, and um, it was just crazy. Like people started recognizing me like when I went to the mall, and I never like expected that would happen. And it just made me realize that like this is something like I wanted to do. That's awesome. <laughs> so, what inspired you to create my games? How did that whole thing start? Um, well, I actually didn't write that, which a lot of people think. Um, I actually did a show when I was much younger, and um, the rapper, actually his father and him came down, and the rapper was like, oh, um, I want to do a song for you, I think that you're really talented, like I'll rap in it. So he wrote it with his friend and his dad, and then I just went in the studio and I did it really fast, and then all of a sudden it became like a huge thing. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> That's awesome. So how did you take your passion and turn it into a career so young? Um, well, I used to do more like community theater shows and I was also off Broadway in the city. And um I used to be more of like an actress, like I said, and like I sang too. But now I focus more on like on stage, like dancing and singing like together. That's awesome. Cool. Awesome. So one thing that I think is super cool about your whole story is that you were recently endorsed by De Dionne Warwick, and you have been working with her son, Damon. So what has been like working with him and everything? Um, that was honestly incredible. Damon has like produced so many incredible artists like Christina Aguilera, Pink, Beyonce, and the fact that I was just produced by him and was working with him was honestly crazy. And Dion is honestly like a legend. Like <laughs> like I know people my age probably like don't know her. But honestly, like back in I don't know, whenever like she was she was really big and honestly her songs and her like back in the sixties she was just amazing and she's like an inspiration, I think. Yeah, that's like so amazing that you're working with them. So are there any plays or television shows that you'll be making an appearance on soon? Um, well, I was in Rick's Rising Stars, which is on Verizon Fios. I actually filmed that last week. Oh, and it's cool. basically like I did like a concert and it's gonna be on Verizon Fios. And um, I'm really excited for that. So yeah. That's really cool. So, um, are there any artists that you dream of working with? Like, who's your all-time favorite, like, number one collab person? Um, well, I have two favorites, um, Ariana Grande and Iggy. Those are, like, my favorite singers right now. And not even just because they're singers, just because, like, 
their like personalities and like how they perform and everything. I just look up to them. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now we have questions about um, your Bye. fashion sense. Mm -hmm. We know you're super trendy. We love what you're wearing. Thank so you. So how do you define fashion? Um, I think fashion is like a great way to express yourself, and everyone can just like fool around with it and be their self with it. Um, I think my like style is more edgy on stage, and like kind of when I'm at home, I, I kind of dress like kind of like that, but not as much. But I like wearing like um, like skater skirts sometimes and like Converse, and I like wearing like um, I don't know, I like wearing leather sometimes and. Uh, Nice. I like it. That's <laughs> awesome. So, uh, do you have, like, one fashion icon that you look up to? Like, who inspires your fashion style? Um, definitely most of, like, the young, like, female singers right now. Like, Iggy, like, Rihanna, um, Ariana. Like, basically, uh, oh, Cher Lloyd, I really like her style, too. Um, but... Definitely like the young female singer right now. So that's your style, which is awesome. But what is your fashion advice for other teens your age? Um, definitely to just be yourself and express yourself with whatever you want and don't let like don't compare yourself to anyone else. How is your lounging around style like chilling at home while you're eating popcorn different than like your on stage style? Um, definitely when I'm at home just like watching Netflix or whatever. Um, I'm wearing like sweatpants and like whatever, or like when I'm at the pool or something, hanging out with my friends, I wear crop tops and a lot of like denim shorts a lot. Yeah. Nice. So, okay, so you're in a rush, you're going out with your friends, it's really, you got to get ready really quick. What is your go to fashion piece when you're in a hurry? I definitely like just throw on flannels when I'm in a hurry, just like throw them on or like tie them around my waist or something. Cute. Aside from that, what is your favorite accessory? Um, I really have been liking kimono tops, like the flowy floral things that you wear over yeah. like top tops. I love those. That's awesome. <laughs> those are okay, so now we're going to do some super quick rapid fire questions. Okay. So what's your favorite TV show right now? I know you were talking about Netflix. So what's your favorite Netflix or TV show right now? Um, well, I've been watching 90210, like, the old show, but, um, I want to start yeah. watching Orange is the New Black, because everyone says that's amazing, so I want to start really watching It's really good. Yeah. yeah. I've been putting off starting the second season, because, like, I don't think I can handle the stress. I just want to watch it so bad. No, but it's really the best me. thing that will ever happen to you. Um, <laughs> So when you aren't yeah. building a small career, besides watching Netflix, what's your favorite thing to do? Um, definitely to just hang out with my friends and family, and like hang like definitely because it's the summer. I love going to the beach. Yeah. So like Again, going back to Netflix. Um, <laughs> what is your all-time favorite movie? Oh my god, I don't even watch movies, but <laughs> The Fault in Our Stars is it was just so good. Like oh, I'm I sobbed. I was I walked out of the theater and it was all over my face. Same. Okay, Jenna. So heels or flats? Flats, because I can't walk in heels. <laughs> <laughs> totally feel you on that. Yeah. So um, going back to like your career and seeing everything. Um, what advice would you have to give to teens aspiring to have a skin career? Um, definitely to just not worry about anyone else's opinion, and if they tell you, like, that you're not good enough for anything, to just don't listen to them, because that's something that held me back when I was younger, and, like, I mm -hmm. got, sometimes I got, like, well, everyone gets negative feedback, like, sometimes, but it kind of just, like, I went through a point where I listened to that, which wasn't something that helped me, and once I got over that, it, like, benefited me, and I kept going. Yeah. Nice. So... I know balancing school, we talked about that you're going to your junior year of high school, so balancing school and your rising career must be super stressful. How are you able to manage it all? Um, well, I don't, like, miss that much school, um, but I, like, always, like, do my homework and stuff, and I, like, never, like, miss any, like, tests or anything. Finding 
theme <laughs> at such a young age impact video? Um, well, kind of like, like I said before, like sometimes if I go out like to the mall or something, people like ask me for pictures and stuff, which is crazy. Like I never thought that would happen. Um, yeah. but it's definitely like cool to get that, you know. Totally. Like, who doesn't want to be a celebrity? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at I am, we are huge advocates of the belief that smart is sexy. This means we value independence, intellect, and positivity over looks alone. So, as a young girl who has overcome so much, what are your thoughts on smart is sexy? Um, I agree with you guys on that. Um, I think that it's not just about looks. I think it's about personality. I think that like outweighs your looks, like if you don't have a personality, like a good personality and like like that stuff then um, you know it's just like not the same. Like I think that being smart is important and like I hate when like girls like try to act dumb like on purpose to like yeah. make like guys like them or something. I hate that. Like you just be smart and they'll like you better, you know? <laughs> True. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of like you're not being yourself at Point, you know? Yeah, you have to always be yourself. So, how has being smart and sexy helped you in your career specifically? Um, well, definitely, it made me more confident and stronger mm -hmm. in in your like different ways. So, going back to like how personality, you know, being smart, like really sexy and like. A, a guy or like whatever, what quality aside from those do you find most sexy in person? Um, definitely if you're funny. Like, I like funny people, just um, if like someone can make me laugh, it's just, I love people that make me laugh. Totally. <laughs> so is there a celebrity that you like that you think represents smart and sexy? Um, I'm Justin Timberlake, I think. Totally. Like, yeah, he's great. I love him. He's, like, an inspiration to me also. Um, but that he's been around for so long, and I think that like, made him great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That, like, longevity in your career, like, if you manage to do that, you're golden. Golden. Um, so, like, okay, we're going to do this thing called Rapid Five. We're going to ask you questions. And you have to say like the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. So, first question is leather or glitter? Leather. Zach Efron or Ryan Gosling? <gasps> That's so hard. Zach Efron. <laughs> Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Starbucks. Guilty pleasure. Okay. My phone. <laughs> what do you care to be song? Girls just wanna have fun. <laughs> Favorite musical icon? Um, Justin Bieber. Okay. Um, so at IAM, we run an interactive anti-bullying campaign all year round, encouraged to be the one who takes the ultimate stand against bullying. Using the hashtag, be the one who, on social media, to promote awareness and community support. What advice you have for teens who are bullied in terms of standing up for themselves or building self-esteem? Um, definitely to talk to someone about it and don't just hold it inside of you because that will make it worse for you in the end. And um, and to just like talk about it to anyone, it doesn't matter who it is, Like is, I'm always here for you <laughs> if anyone needs that. But um, to also like turn your computer off if it's like cyberbullying and to just hang out with your friends and listen to music or whatever and just that gets you through it. So you just going off of what you just yeah. said, um, you have openly talked about being cyber bullied bullied, so including like turning your computer off, hanging out with friends, how else did you personally deal with it? Um, well, I mean it kind of impacted me in many ways. Um like, I got hacked also by people that, like, were, like, cyberbullying me, and that, like, made me, like, not go to school for a week, but honestly, that made me stronger in the end. Like, those things made me much stronger as a person, and, like, my family and my mom, like, definitely made, got me through everything, and just having everyone to talk to and the support of the people that cared about me. Yeah. 
So what is your advice to kids who are being bullied at school? Not necessarily cyber bullied, but like, you know, face to face. Um, even if this sounds like weird to talk to like a guidance counselor or a teacher about it, or like you know, your like best friends, and not to just hold it inside of you and let it keep going on and let yourself keep getting bullied. Yeah, I agree. So I know there's a lot of teenagers who I'm sure look up to you and are struggling to reach their own goals. So what would you say to young teens who are struggling to reach their goals? Um. To honestly go after your dreams, and even if they see that they're like too far away or anything, to just go after what you want. Because I never thought anything would happen with my dreams or anything, or as a person, but it happened. So without that video, I'd probably be nowhere. But you know, it was just just to have faith in yourself and be confident. Awesome. So before you go, we have one last question. Um, would you like to tell us about some of the new things that you're going to be doing like this summer or in the upcoming year? Like what's going on, girl? Um, well, my like main things that are coming up like soon is July 19th and 20th. I'll be on tour with Reality Dance, which is an anti-bullying organization. And that's going to be with um, some of the MadCon guys. And um, also like with I'm local people. That's with MadCon. Yeah. Um, I follow in, them all on uh, Vine. Yeah, me too. Um, mm -hmm. But they're in that, and that's in New Jersey and Philly. And also August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, I'm going to be with them again at Six Flags and Adventureland. And I'm also doing a show with Jillian Jensen um, on July 24th, I think. Um, mm -hmm. But I love her. I just did a show with her, and she's really... She's so talented and she's so nice, and I'm really excited for all those things. That's so exciting. Seems like you're going to have a really fun summer. <laughs> so, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk with us. We wish you the best of luck in all your career endeavors, and I'm sure we'll be hearing more great things from you in the future. Thank Don't you for having me. Yeah, no worries. Um, don't forget to follow her on Twitter. At Generos 3 xo guys. Yeah. Um, and her website to hear her new music. Also, follow us on Twitter at IAM. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on IAM.com. You can find out all this information in the description box. And join us next time for IAM in Your Living Room featuring some of the newest up-and-coming teens and adults just like you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much, Jenna. This was so much Thank fun. You, Thank you for having me.